Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you again today for a track review. And this is for the Blink-182 song I was gonna do, I Really Wish I Hated You song, well, track review. So I'm gonna discuss what I listened to and let you know what I thought of this track. So let's dive into this review. Now, this is their fifth single for their upcoming record, Nine which is coming out September 20th, which I will be reviewing on that day. I'm not going to be posting any more early album reviews anymore because I could get in trouble for that. Uh, you kind of understand where I'm... Hopefully you can understand where I'm coming from. But... And it would have... Mm, let people talk more about what they think of each song if I did the reviews on the day it comes out or after it releases but to go into this track review um this track uh it's good with Mark singing in it and Matt singing in the background as well uh have backing the vocals as well he's like the backup vocal list in this song of uh, like he's the higher pitched voice in the background of mark singing so they're both singing at the same time but matt's got a little bit of a higher voice and mark's got a kind of deeper voice and can hit a little bit of high notes but he doesn't with this song he, this song was meant to be pretty mellow, but this track's not bad. It's not my favorite track from them, but it's not bad. Uh, it's catchy at times, but lyrically it's, mm, it's all right. It's did a solid job. Honestly, I don't, I'm kind of a little worried about this record because they are experimenting with this record and it just feels like it's, I just feel like I'm going to be disappointed if I hear the record, but I don't know for sure. I won't know till September 20th, but this song is not bad. Um... I know I keep repeating myself saying it's not bad, but it really is not that bad. It's it's not going to get a 5 out of 5. It's not that good enough for a 5 out of 5, unfortunately. So you kind of get where I'm going with this, that I'm going to give it a lesser rating than it would be out of 5, than a 5 out of 5. But, uh... There was, the drumming in it does all right, um, and, uh, just Travis Barker's drumming in it is pretty good in this track, but there are some problems with it, like, lengthwise it does a solid job, but it just feels... Like it felt short from being a really good song. It just, I didn't like the mellow approach they went with this track. And it just, I know that's what Blink-182 is known for. And I know they wanted to go mellow with this track, but I just felt it didn't work. Uh, but it's not bad. It's nothing terrible, it's just not my particularly favorite song off this record. I think the only one that was really good was Generational Divide. And <laughs> that 49 second song beat these other tracks that I already reviewed. Like, it beat Dark Side, it beat Happy Days, it beat Blame It On My Youth, and it beat this one. But out of 5, I'll give this one a 4.5 out of 5. Because it didn't do so bad. It just... There are some elements in the track that just... 
I kind of got worried about being a little standoffish. I don't know. There's something about this track that just throws me off. And it's an alright track to listen to, but it's n not really a particular favorite of mine. But comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Blink-182 song. I really wish I hated you track if you've heard it. And if you like this review, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for the It Chapter 2 movie review. And I'll be doing more talk on Star Set's Stratosphere track probably tomorrow. Or on Monday at the latest. Sorry that I haven't released it yet. I just only heard it a few times. And I gotta go back and listen to it again. I won't be doing a music video review for Stratosphere, unfortunately. Because the album's gonna be out in like six days, so it's not that far away. Um, but, yeah. Uh, uh, but I will do a more talk on uh, Star Set Stratosphere on probably tomorrow at the earliest. At the latest, it will be Monday. But thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video.